Welcome, welcome again, my internet friends. This is the alternative guy and the alternative <laughs> gal back with another video. Today, this is going to be our second video for today. This video is going to be about this beautiful, beautiful flower here called Passion Flower. And I'm just wondering why it's got that name, but my wife is going to explain to you all about this beautiful, beautiful flower called passion flower. So, here she is. Okay, here I am. Again, welcome to another episode of The Wonders of Nature. And believe me when I say, I am so excited about talking a bit about this particular plant because it's deja vu. When I was younger, growing up in the country, we used to pop these with our feet. May pops, passion flower, passiflora, in Carnada. We were walking this week and found these beautiful, oddly shaped plants. The flowers are gorgeous, simply gorgeous. Take a look. Just come close and take a look and it doesn't only look beautiful it smells gorgeous it really really smells gorgeous the passion flower it's known as a general relaxant and the only part of this particular herb that cannot be used are the roots. The roots are said to be very toxic. The passion flower is an herb that is used for anxiety. Now studies have shown this. I know this because I've had passion flower tea. It is also used for those sleepless, restless nights. And it's also been studied and proven that it aids in the symptoms of ADHD. It also aids in high blood pressure. Now let me say this friends, we're living in an area where pharmaceuticals are high on the list of wellness. But let me say to you, let's rethink it. The pharmacy, pharmaceuticals, use the plants from nature, but the downfall is they add chemical. It tells you some horrendous side effects of these 
drugs that we're being given. So let's go back to nature, the first mother. Passion flower also reduces the symptoms for menopause. It balances the mood. Passion flower has vitamin C and vitamin A. And for the ladies that are listening, we know that when we get to a certain age, we're concerned about anti-aging. Well, let me let you know that the vitamin A in passion flower prevents the aging process in our skin. It aids in the elasticity of the cells in our face and under our neck area. This particular herb also aids in smoking withdrawal. It aids in gastrointestinal issues. And that's another thing that inundates our community. The foods that we eat are causing many, many problems. So a cup of this tea, passion flower tea, will aid in that gut health. It enhances the biome, the gut biome. So, say it again, it won't do any harm if we use the flowers for making tea or we can use these beautiful leaves for making tea. And again, the maypop itself, we know that it's ripe when it begins to drop from the plant to the ground and it has a tinge of yellow or orangeness in it. You cannot eat it when it's totally green because it is toxic. So here we have the beautiful passion flower. If we come into nature, we get a multitude of benefits. The plants, the fresh air, grounding. So let's go back to nature and find ourselves connecting with the first mother. Passion flower is our friend. Thank you. See you on the next one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do share, subscribe, and give us comments. We like your feedback. We love feedback. And we want to encourage you to continue to watch our videos because we have many more to come. Thanks again. Peace. Peace.